Dr. Erica with Rosy Research, and we're going to look at squishy circuits. Now, you might have heard this great phenomenon of making circuits with Play-Doh and LEDs. And, and a lot of the things, they show you how to cook Play-Doh, and we have a recipe online to make conducting dough. It's got a lot of salt, and the ions in the salt have all the charges, and that's what lets the charges flow through your circuit. But it can take a long time to make, and also it goes bad really quickly, especially if you have it like in a Ziploc bag and get like a little moldy. Regular Play-Doh doesn't do that because they have all the chemicals to keep your Play-Doh good forever, but it also is conducting. So that's my nice little trick about squishy circuits. If you're going to do them, you can do them with regular Play-Doh. And they also have recipes for insulating dough that you can act as sort of a buffer between two pieces of conducting dough. And you don't even need to make that one either, which is good because that was my least favorite one to make. It was always slimy. I could never give that right consistency. But what you can do is use modeling clay for that. I don't have it with me today, but any oil-based clay will work perfectly for that. So all you need is some Play-Doh. You'll notice mine are all mixed together because I've got two little people and they love to mix their Play-Doh. And then you need some energy for your circuit. And the way that we power circuits is through a battery. So I have a 9 volt battery and a battery hat and we'll have all the supplies you need to do this online. So I'm going to plug it in here and then of course you need an LED. Now if you do this with your kids I really challenge you to just give them all of the parts and see if they can make it work. What I see a lot of kids do is sort of stick both things into the play-doh and just stick their LED in and say it doesn't light! And so you have to ask them, oh, okay, what are we trying to do in our circuit? Because you want to make a circle somehow, and this doesn't make a really good circle. And if they're still having trouble, you could say, you need two pieces of dough for what you're doing. And so they might say, okay, I'm going to have it like that, but then it still doesn't light. So you want to take it out, you're going to make your little LED do the splits, because I need to now somehow bridge this gap. And you might put it in, and they say, it still doesn't light. Well, LEDs are like slides or one-way streets, and electrons are really good rule followers. So they are never going to go up the slide or turn the wrong way down a one-way street. So you might have your LED in backwards. That's one thing that could be happening. And the other thing that could happen is it could be that your battery is not working. So I'm going to go grab another battery real fast. All right, I'm back. And another battery. So I actually have these chargeable, rechargeable 9 volt batteries because I run this class with a lot of kids. So I'm guessing that this one might just be dead. So let's see. Yep. So now when I put a good battery on, I've got my LED. And these LEDs are fun little just rainbow blinking LEDs. I love that they give sort of this kinematic thing where it's not just a light, which is really exciting for kids, but a changing light with changing colors that blinks is super exciting for kids. So this is one thing that you can do. And you'll notice if the two balls touch, my squishy circuit goes out because the electrons are really lazy. So if they can just go straight through and not have to go down a slide, they're not going to do it. When we force them to, that's when we see the light. And again, if we had this LED backwards, it's not going to work for us. So those are a couple of things to keep in mind when you do your squishy circuits. One thing I love about squishy circuits is that you can make different things out of them. So if you wanted to sort of like stack these doughs with modeling clay in between, you could make like a little caterpillar with a clay, with a oil clay ball right here and right there and they can light up. You can do all sorts of sculptures with these, which is really fun. And once you've played with these ones that have two legs, there's a really fun project you can do with an LED that has four legs. So this is called a RGB LED, and it's a red, green, and blue LED. So you might imagine with the two legs, I needed two balls of clay. You can think in your head, how many balls of clay would I need for a four-legged LED? And here we're going to use four. And if you start with the two legs, kids can figure out that the four legs need four balls a lot faster. It's a lot easier to start with two and then move up than to just start with four. So we can make four balls of clay, and I'm going to put my LED, I'm going to make it go in a crisscross pattern. I don't want my legs to cross each other, because otherwise, you know, the red and the green might permanently be touching and they're always on at the same time. So then I'm just going to stick it in to here. 
and see what happens. Now it just so happens that I, when I plugged it in, it lit up, it's green. If I take the red out, it doesn't work. Let's see what happens if I put the red here. Nothing is working. All right, so let's say you plugged it in and nothing was working. You could try exactly this. What happens if I put it in this ball of dough? All right, so the red has to be there. And I can say, what happens if I move the black? If I move the black here, I get red. And if I move it here, I get blue. So it's a red, green, and blue. I got red, green, and blue, but there's more. You can make these little Play-Doh bridges, like kind of like little wires, and you could connect the red and the green, and it will change colors. Or you could connect the red and the blue, like this, and you get like a, for a moment I saw a little pink. You could connect this to maybe the green and the green and blue and you get like this nice teal color if you can see that. You could do red and green again and it goes a little bit into a slightly different color. So you get like a green to a yellow. And you'll notice the red and the green connected when I have the black and the green is different than over here. This is more like a reddish orangey. So isn't that interesting that you can change it in all these different ways? I could just connect these two maybe, or all of them together. And so you can let your kids really experiment with connecting things and making different colors, challenge them, how many colors can you make? Because at first they'll make just one color, whatever color pops up. And you could say, oh, you made green. I challenge you, can you make blue? And when they make blue, can you make red? They make red, could you make orange? And they'll look at it and they'll think, well, I've tried all three legs. I get red, green, blue. How do I get orange? And they'll have to sort of think through what they do. And when I run this with kids' classes, I'll usually also, in addition to Play-Doh, just set out a bunch of different wires that they can connect things with just to try. We've gotten kids getting white, peach, hot purple, like fuchsia, all of these different colors. And it's just really fun to see the excitement in them. And they'll just, oh my god, I got pink! And everybody rushes over to that table. How'd you make pink? Which is really fun. Um, another thing you can do is you can show how we are conductive. And that you can do by just touching any of these. Now we're not super, this is not being super conductive. The Play-Doh might be a little dry. And you can barely see it light up. But you can be the person who lights up their LED by just touching them. Of course, when you make it easy to go through, then it's gonna light up a lot brighter. So this is a really fun project to break out sort of on any given day. You likely have Play-Doh in your house, so you're just gonna need a couple of things. Nine volt batteries are pretty ubiquitous. Um, the red, green, blue LEDs you will need to get likely online. I'll have a link to that if you want them. And I will say in another video, we have a really fun project with the red, green, blue LEDs, and that is to make a color piano. So when you get these, make sure you get a set of them so that you can also make the color piano, and that uses copper tape and some other things. Um, and then you'll need battery hats so that you can connect your batteries. There's a bunch of different types of battery hats that connect 9-volt batteries. You want the one that has two different wires. Um, some of them, they'll like kind of come into like a little plug that looks just like a power outlet plug. You don't want that kind. You want two different things so that you can move it around really easily. I hope you have a ton of fun with your squishy circuits. I know in our house this is a favorite. I'm not sure we even play with Play-Doh regularly anymore. It just comes with the package that we're going to do some circuits. So make sure that you follow us and subscribe to our YouTube channel to check out all the fun circuit activities we've been working on. And I can't wait to see you next. Bye.